name is Pastor Robert Mons. I'm the West Regional Pastor for Lutheran Church Canada, sending you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, whose nativity we are celebrating this time of the year. One of the things I look forward to at uh, Christmas time is the decorating of our Christmas tree. And one of the traditions of our family is to uh, put uh, Christmas on our tree. Now, this is a sample of a Christmas that I'm talking about. It's a Christian symbol. And this happens to be done in cross stitch. And it's the first three letters of the name Jesus in the Greek lettering. Of course, the name Jesus means God saves, and that's really the reason for the season, as we put it, isn't it? Indeed, God in Christ Jesus, taking on our human flesh, conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, placed in swaddling clothes in a humble manger in Bethlehem. It's an amazing story. An amazing announcement that follows that story given to shepherds and so wonderfully put for us in the Gospel of Luke. These words from Luke chapter 2. An angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were filled with fear and the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you this day is born in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Amazing news given to us and announced by God's own messenger, his angel. Every year we have the great opportunity to speak those words of comfort and hope into one another's life. And yes, this year it will happen in a little bit different way, but nevertheless, the word of the Lord continues to dwell among his people. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I pray that God would open up a space and a time in your life that you might hear this word once again, and that by his Spirit you would be enkindled with great joy for the gift of salvation that has come to you. Yes, God in human flesh has come to save you. And even now, whatever your circumstance happens to be this day, God in Christ Jesus continues to come to you, to intersect your life, to fill it with his life, and with all the gifts that he has for you, the gift of forgiveness, the gift of salvation, the gift of his love and his compassion for you, and most of all, the gift of his enduring presence with you at all times and in every place. Emmanuel, God with you, God for you. And so I pray that the Lord would fill your heart with such joy that you would join with the angels in that wonderful hymn that we hear proclaimed from heaven's highest realm. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. God's peace be with you. His presence abide with you.